every day we hear someone is passing by, meaning they are dying. Either age is not the criteria of death. You go hospital, someone had a stroke, gone. 17 years. Oh, 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 we don't want to Don't worry. No, I'm, no, without camera. I'll take the leaf from those, thanks. I, I was, I was going to say, sister. I have a con at home. Uh, she yeah. Does, uh, yeah, of course, they're Muslim. Yeah. 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 I was going to say that, sister, that think, if you think that you want to be perfect, the devils will not be allowed you to become a Muslim. I guarantee you that. We always are sinner. We all are sinner. Take the steps. Allah will make it easy. But if you don't take steps, you then the devil, happen, exactly, yeah. the devil will say, oh, you want to be perfect. But no single are person in the earth are perfect. We all are sinners. Ask her. Huh? Yes, you know, even it. our sin can touch the whole sky. Even the whole earth will be not enough for our, the amount of sin that we commit. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I'm going to show you a verse and that will be a food for thought for today. Okay. And that I'm going to leave it. Yeah. That in chapter... 39. Do you know that verse? Chapter 39. Yeah, that should be a reflection for all of us. That's in verse number 53. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah said, Kul ya ibadi alladhina asrafu ala anfusihim la taqnatu min rahmatillah. إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. Say, O my servant, who have transgressed against themselves by sinning, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgive all sin. Indeed, it is He who is the forgiving, the merciful. Yeah, there's a reason why uh, Allah has so many names. You know, I'm aware of that. He has the most attributes, merciful. Yeah. The yeah, most attributes of mercy. Yeah. The attributes of just, he has also al adal. Al adal means someone who would do just. So he would not punish someone to forgive someone. So just like in Christianity, we kill. Uh, Jesus was uh, died. No, no, like I said. So, so yeah, exactly. So, so we we have these attributes of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala because when we contrast with others, then we realize how beautiful Islam is. Because if you don't have a pain, you would not know how to be how to be feel better, you know. The same way, when we look at the attribute of Allah, then you will realize what others are doing. Say, for example, Allah is saying He is merciful, but look at this universe; it's full of injustice. Yeah. Then you look for mercy. Then, in order to receive the mercy, you should go to Allah, because look, whenever you go to bank, they will say, "Okay, no problem, we give you money." Are they really helping you? No. They give you five thousand pound, and they say, "Okay, no problem, I'm going to make an economic slave to the person." So, okay, you give, I will give you 5,000, but you will give 8,000 back. 8, back. So, so you can't come back. So, whenever you go to the people, they will do injustice. But whenever you go to Allah, He will show mercy. And that's why Allah is saying, He is the provider. Meaning, He will provide things for us, sustenance for us. Now, the fact that we are receiving the oxygen at the moment, and our heart and functioning properly, that shows that Allah is in control and He's sustaining us. Yeah, the, so slightest, the slightest things, you know. If, exactly, if, sister. If the world was a little bit different, we wouldn't be able to function the way Absolutely. that we yeah. Exactly Trust the point. Trust me, I am, I am educated on this. I'm in the process. Like, I, yeah. What's stopping you from becoming Muslim, my yeah. sister? Should I be completely honest with you? Yeah, go. We are here Drugs. to answer any question. Huh? Drugs. I am. I smoke weed at the moment, but and I don't want to. I don't want to take much further and L take let me, let me ask you and something. still do something bad. Well, it's gonna make me no. feel guilty and ashamed. You know. Can I ask you something? Sir? This is one question that um, you know. You know that famous uh, rapper. What's his name? He, he's a Muslim. Um, no, uh, yeah, uh, something club. Um, um, uh, D club or something. Um, he's a rapper. He's got tattoos all over, but he's a Muslim. You know what he said to me? Yeah, I mean he said generally. He said, "Would you die as a non-believer, or would you die as a bad Muslim?" A bad Muslim. Exactly. Bad Do you Muslim. understand? Because if you become a yeah. bad Muslim, I'm just giving it. I'm not asking you I'm to become a, a bad Muslim. I'm not a non-believer. But though. what I'm saying, <laughs> now what I'm saying, uh, I'm just saying, if you are a bad Muslim, you're always gonna. Chance, yeah. It's a bigger chance of entering exactly than a, a non-Muslim. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Look, like the brother said, we're all sinners. Do you understand? Yeah. Islam 
is a way of life. It will teach you how to abstain from all this slowly. Yeah, look. Yeah, during the during the time of our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they used to drink alcohol, wine, this stuff, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But when the, our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when he told them, do not drink because this is bad for you, because of the love that he had and the respect. Yeah. They they whatever whatever they had in the stomach, yeah, re, they regurgitated it out. Yeah, that's the love. You know, the whole sea was oh flown. Oh my God. <laughs> sorry, sorry. The whole sea was flown with wine. But that's not the point. The point is he listened to the the, the advice and the commandment of Rasulullah sallallahu yeah. alayhi wa yeah? He's not doing so it. I, he's I, not I doing it. He's not doing it because he's going to get so much reward. He's doing it because he want to protect your health. Yeah. It's your body. Look after it. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah? Uh, look, sister, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not the judge of you. You're not, my, you're not the judge of me. Yeah. But the biggest judge is Allah. Yeah. He's the one. He knows what you're doing is wrong or whatever. But if you turn back to him, there's always a chance that he's going to forgive you, my sister. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? True. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I think like, the self-reflection is the most important thing. And Just having like good intention behind Having it, a yeah. good intention and then action in, in that. Now, if, if I have the intention and if I have the self-reflection and if I don't act upon it, then it will be remain, you know, like an un. I will never try. I will exactly, never, exactly. I, I never so, give myself the chance right. to enter. So the, the the reality of that, this life has a chance. We have, and we are bound within a time frame, and we do not know how much time we have left. Yeah. yeah. So everything we are doing based on uncertainty. So, at least you can do a something called certainty by accepting the faith that at least you know that you will end up in paradise in some point. This is why I really enjoy pray. I pray with my friend and now in like the month of Ramadan. I went to uh, iftar with her a couple of times yeah, yeah, yeah. and we prayed together. Iftar, yeah? She's she's the one that um, like you know kind of guides me and teaches me. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's, you know, you know, like uh, Islam. Islam. The beauty of Islam is that Islam always gives substitute. For example, those who are saying, you know, I'm so addicted to the wine and everything. Yeah. Islam gives you so many type of drinks. Allah offered you. Allah yeah. offered you tea. Allah offered yeah. you coffee. Allah offered you hundred types of juices, right? Yeah. So, and Allah just said, you know, refrain from this. Just from this one Yeah, look thing. at that. It's we are so yeah, greedy. It's not something that they now, when, from us. Yeah, when Allah talks about the, uh, the gambling and the drugs and eating Allah pork. eating so pork. Many different so many different animals, so many different yeah. meat, types of meat. But Allah, look at the uh, the state of human being that whenever we receive those things, we never actually shows gratitude. But when yeah. Allah said, don't eat that, and we start That's complaining again. Start saying, why? 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 Why exactly? So, why Do you so see? Strict, so so yeah, this that. is a double standard on the, on the mind of uh, the psychology of the human being. So, so what we say is, whenever we look at the Islamic prescription, meaning uh, guidance from total, mm -hmm. you the bad habit that human being have, you will find an alternative solution in the Islam. So it's like, you know, if, you have him uh, have a, a medical issue and then when you go to the doctor he will prescribe something that will heal you or yeah. cure the same thing in Islam we find everything has a solution in it for example if you go through a drinks and drugs problem I can tell you the stories of the prophets where there are companions of the prophet they were seriously drunk right and these those very the same people they accepted Islam and they become better version of themselves by uh, and what what is the recipe of that then? Yeah. the recipe of that is to have the strong faith number one number two replace the bad action with a good action Allah said wala tastabil hasanati wala sayyat. the good and bad are not equal idfa billatihi ahsan that counter bad with good but if you do so, Allah said, That if you do so, your sworn enemy will be your devoted friend. This is how Islam goes tackling an issue of behavior that good and bad cannot be an equal behavior. So don't, yeah. don't use your bad behavior with the bad behavior, but instead use the good behavior. So that will turn around the other one heart. The same way, drinking, gambling, all of these things, so Allah created and Allah given some protection of human being. So in Islam, we have Sharia, with the way of life, we have five maqasid, means five objectives of the life. And one of the objectives is to protect human's life and the sanctity of the human life. Where Allah tells us that who you are, what, what you are the made up of, and what are the things you should avoid to protect yourself. Now imagine, 
if you if you have a lot of money and the coins together yeah. if you wanted to just have the notes for yourself and not the coin what you have to do remove the coins yeah. the same way in order to have the correct way of living we have to remove some of the things that could be detrimental for our yeah. life and mind for example when we say drinking gambling yeah. and allah said uh, uh, that these min uh, amal shaitan these are the work of shaitan yeah, the whispers. Yeah, the, 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 this is in Surah Al. I think in Surah Al Maidah, Allah said, the drinking, gambling, and the intoxicant, uh, uh, intoxicant. Yeah, these are uh, uh, the act of shaitan. So, so in order to stay away, there are some practical tips. Is changing the friends. If you, if there are so friends that friends. <laughs> yeah yeah good friend mashallah. mashallah yeah but if you have that friend that yeah. will influence you yeah. you need to make Come a decision down, yeah. that yeah. whether you want to keep that friendship or not because yeah. the friend is defined who you are who you your company is. exactly your mom says that to you all, all yeah, the time, all the time well, yeah. Yeah. yeah even if you now imagine if you consider your time in in, in doing something bad but if you have someone good friend then you can allocate to something else maybe in sports yeah. maybe doing some, um, some uh, kind of acti activity. activities activity. that will that will that will that will, that will mentally yeah. and spiritually boost you yeah. like training some of them they are training to be fit you know some of them they uh, you know doing business you know that can you can help others as well yeah. so becoming rich is something good because you can help others yeah. but yeah. you can give charity you yeah. see if you get more money you have the more money to uh, spare, yeah. more money to give it to uh, people, so, uh, that, people yeah. that, that can buy their bread. So, yeah. so look, Islam gives you and makes you a person uh, uh, of uh, Izzah and honor. Like the children of Adam was sent this in this universe as a representative of God, meaning you represent God. In order to represent God, you must have the, have the character yeah. within yourself. And in order to have that character, we need to remove the bad traits from us mm -hmm. and only that all of the package can be possible when you have that strong belief because if you do not believe in Allah you will never be able to do any practice anything yeah. Yeah, it's because not, I, it's not your it's not your um, eyes you can, you that can, are blind it's the heart that the heart the blind you're gonna fall yeah. into yeah. hedonism yeah. 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 you understand what I'm yeah. saying and you know what you're never gonna be satisfied whatever you're aiming to get you'll get no. it but you always try to get something better and when you get that you're always going to be do something better mm. you're never going to be happy you're never, never going to be satisfied yeah do you, do you know what i mean what you have you know we have spiritual needs do you know what i mean we don't have inner peace why we've got all the money in the world we've got everything but we don't yeah. have inner peace yeah. where's the inner peace do you understand inner peace come from from what faith. from your from your faith your iman which is so like, what, what, you what would faith? you say sister that that would lead you to that habit that you are doing. Would you, would you, mean? you know, like that drugs issue yeah. that you have. What is that triggering point for you that lead you uh, there? I think maybe my family. Okay. I think as somebody who is interested in Islam, your family is a really big part that kind of holds you back. It doesn't allow you to, you know, you're not able to have the same. Like when I go to my friend's family her dad like leading the prayer and having that family time like having that faith together is something that i kind of look at my family and I, I strive to have but it's like as somebody who's trying to believe the thought of my parents and my uh, my sister and everyone going to hell is like the thing that really like hits it it hits it for me and then i'm like i wouldn't like for me jenna wouldn't be jenna without my parents and my you know my sister and I'm aware that if that is the case, God, if he sees that, you know, I need my, my parents and everyone there, like, he could make it happen, but it's just the, the practice. I, I think that the, here, the real issue is here. The real issue start from you, sister. Yeah. If, you, if you do not become a better version of yourself, how can you convince your parents? Yeah. If you are not in the right track, they would not be influence you. Yeah. Remember, people do not take our words. People look at the action. Yeah. So action actually speak louder than the words. words. So, if you become a better version of yourself, and if you show them what is meant to be a daughter, they might be like, "Why? What's what's this?" That's Correct. Be like this? Exactly. So, this is the the uh, I would say the motto should be yours is, "I want to be a Muslim, and I don't want to be a Muslim. I want to be a better version of myself, so that 
I can go to, I can please to my my creator. At the same time, I can take my family to paradise. Yeah. If you have that real intention, yeah. seriously, you will, you th get this it. is the best medicine, yeah. right? That we should perfect. And Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Allah said, "Lakat kana fi Rasulullah uswatun hasana," meaning he was sent and and a, 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 a an exemplary character or someone who comes and perfect the characters of yeah. human beings, right? So. And Allah mentioned that uh, that uh, you help one another in good things. Yeah. That you help one another in good things. Do not help one another in bad things. So the Quran constantly laid those foundation of the justice and morality and how to be a, a best version of ourselves in throughout the Quran. So if you connect with yourself with the Quran, it will make you one of the best person in the planet. Why? Because you will have the best advice. Imagine we go to advice, we seek 300 pound, one hour advice, but none of the advices equal to the Quran. Yeah, because this is the ideas. advice from mm. the one who is never dies, never sleeps, mm. and who is never unaware of the situation. Meaning he is fully yeah. all knowledgeable, yeah. fully aware, and full all wise. Yeah. So advice from him would not be incorrect or something will be detrimental. In fact, it will be a, 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 a prescription, a solution for us. That would be my suggestion to you, sister. And the, the, other, thing, the other thing you said about family, that when you go to your friend's house, you see yeah. their dad yeah. leading the prayer and then you feel kind of belonging. You feel that sensation, do you know what I mean? Similarly, my sister, when you take the Shahada, you're gonna be family, you're gonna be my sister. Even though I don't know you, whatever, you're going to be my sister, I'm going to look out for you. I know be your Muslim sister. Not only that, your friends, do you know what I mean? They're going to be all part of your family. You know, we yeah. say we are all one ummah. Yeah. Which means we are all united, you know? Do you know what I mean? So this yeah. is the beauty of Islam. You have family everywhere. If you go to the mosque, yeah, well, they know you're Muslim, they're going to yeah, come and hug you, the kids, whatever. I don't need to know your name or whatever. Mashallah, sister, you're Muslim, come and share, come and share, share a plate. Share a bread with us. Do you understand? This is family. Do you understand? And like the brother, Alhamdulillah, he, he, he has beautifully explained. Before you start improving in the family and that, work on yourself. Yes. Do you understand, yeah? And how you're going to do that, take the first step, is like recognizing there is only one God worthy of worship, yeah? And that Prophet Muhammad is the last and the final messenger. Yeah. Start with that. And then you so slowly learn. Alhamdulillah, you, you just have to say already. it. You have to say yeah. it. You have, because we, can, we say declaration, which means you have to say it with words, but with a full conviction, yeah, you intention. understand? But once you say it, all your past, you know that you're saying like, you're well, like you know, you're saying, you know, let me tell you about Satan, yeah? Ah, uh, the Satan will say, oh man, you know what? Um, yeah, don't, don't take, don't take the Shahada because you know what? You're never going to be a good Muslim. Yeah. Uh, you're never going to stop taking drugs. You're never going to do that. Forget it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? That's the, that's the devil working for you. That's, that's him talking in my ear, telling me. Exactly. Yeah. Like that's the whistle. To stay, like, even if I know. Yeah. So, 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 with, with the brothers supporting, that's one thing. Maybe just, just to hope from the whole conversation, summarize it in one point. That whoever struggle is for struggle for himself. Yeah. Meaning, if you struggle for yourself, you struggle for yourself and Allah will reward you accordingly. Yeah. And Allah said, you know, there are certain things we'd like to achieve, but this is in the hands of Allah. Yeah. But first thing we can do for ourselves, we cannot change the whole world, yeah. but guarantee that one thing, we can change ourselves. Yeah. So let's be the motto of this Ramadan, just let's change ourselves, and then yeah. that change may be will be reflect others because it will, look, it will have a ripple effect on effect, your family. Uh, yeah, they will see the characteristic. Yeah, you've changed. Yeah, do you know what I mean. You're not like that. You're not going out no more. You know. Yeah. You know, like you yeah, know. You're, I'm not doing certain. Yeah, you're not I doing certain do things. things. Yeah. What I'm saying, my sister. Yeah, sorry to butt in here. I, I know she do. I know you're doing some bad things or whatever. What I'm saying, I'm not saying that you know you're going to become a Muslim and forget. You know, stop. You're going to completely stop doing that because that's not the nature of a human being. What you do, you cut down on it. Yeah. Slowly, if you if you smoke ten times a day, then do it eight times. The next day you do it six times. Yeah. Next day five times like that. Then you reduce it. Then it's all over mind over matter. Yeah. Do you understand? understand? It's a willpower. Now that you know that you can do it, it's a willpower. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Now all I'm saying, my brother, uh, my sister, that brother has explained to you beautifully. Now the next step is before you start changing the world, you need to change yourself. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? You said one of the most beautiful thing that. It is so hard to see our parents knowing that they're going to go to hellfire. Yeah? My sister, look, Allah will judge them. 
based on what they know. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, Allah will judge them. There's, Allah is ever so merciful. Yeah? If they have a good intention and they know nothing about Islam, Allah will test them differently in the hereafter. They'll have a different test. But whereas you, you, you're face to face with the Muslim telling you Islam is the only way of life and is will giving you all the facts. Alhamdulillah, take the shahada. Your judgment is different to theirs. Do you know, do you know what I mean? And you're going to be uh, an ample example for your parents. They're going to see your sisters and your brother. For my big sister, they, they, she don't do that no more. So I'm not going to do that. She's, you're going to be a role model for them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, my sister? Yeah. And I, I think she, sister, since she's connected with the Muslim, Alhamdulillah. I would, we would advise that prepare yourself. Yeah. Take the vow. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it formally so that you can do it uh, in inner mosque as well. You can do it here, but you can do it since, here, huh? since you would like to have them you, as well. Yeah. 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 Come, 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 my sister. No, 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 she's going to do it. Wait, she's going to do it. Relax, relax. No, 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 wait, do No, 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 she, no, no, no. She, she, no, 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 exactly, exactly, yeah, that, that's, that, that, that's right, that's, that's, that, that is, that is why I'm advising, that's what I am advising, that she should take her family, and she, because she has the intention, go with your friends and family, prepare yourself. Okay, two minutes, we're done. Okay, just give me a second, I'm going to say bye to her. Yeah, yeah, so, we're finishing, we're finishing. Yeah, so, the idea is that when we, intending to do something don't leave it too late yeah because you never know when your time is going to exactly pass. this is uh, and and in between so we need to find a balance background balancing point and the balancing point should maybe go home think about and do you want to are you sure that you will get another ramadan in your life i'm not we're not, nobody sure yet. okay we're so that's the point so we have only two days left if you accept islam tomorrow at least you know that you have two Ramadan in your life. Yeah. You will get it, inshallah. But we cannot guarantee next year. Many people with us last year, they are not here. Yeah. They thought they will be here this year. But where are they? They are not. So sister, that would be my humble advice. Become Thank Muslim so in the Ramadan. Thank you so much, inshallah. What do you think? Do you I think, think it's possible? I know I'm going to be a Muslim. I've told myself that I want my children yeah. to have a Muslim father who's able to recite the Quran in Arabic, sure. the actual text. I want, I want to be able to learn, you know. I want to be able to have somebody there to lead me into the religion because I know that is the truth. I think things are holding me back, like my culture, my family, things that I'm not used to because it's something that's kind of foreign to me. But at the same time, it made me feel things that I've never felt before. And that's what made me be like this this has to be the truth. No, because this it, is it what gave me peace, you know? It provides a perfect way of life because the Western understanding is breaking the family and Islam is to promoting the family, family and harmony and traditional. relationship, yes. Yeah. And everything and we have rules within our family, husband, wife, and we live in a society where we share collective responsibility. Yeah. So it's not just oh, okay, I'm gonna throw my parents to the care home. No. no the the yeah. same parents who take care of me when I was young, how can I throw throw her out so as a Muslim we should look look after and care care them just like I care them my parents I need to care for my neighbors I yeah. need to care for my friends and family so when we look at the collective uh, uh, way of looking at the Islam we say it is a perfect way and that shows that this is from God you know and then of course we have evidences that why Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the prophet of God and he, you have studied those or? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm still like in the means of reading the Quran, but it's in the, Eng it's the English version. So yeah. I am struggling to understand a little bit, but whenever I do have any questions, I I either ask her yeah. father like yeah. to, for the interpretations or yeah. just I speak to her about it. But yeah, so there is an app, you can download this one. This is called, uh, I'll show I you. I have uh, the ELM app. The East London Muslim yeah. app, it has all the... So it's called Al-Quran. It is word by word translation. It's, it's word by word translation. You can get this app. You can... Yeah, Al-Quran, I know about this. I have a couple apps as well that I have had previously. This is the one that I've been using just now for like the prayer times. Yes, and, yes. Um, it usually has like... 
the prayers and then you can listen to it because I'm unable to read in Arabic yes. but I prefer to listen to listen the recitation to in, in Arabic rather than yeah. in English yeah. so that's what I usually do whenever I like I have that and it's usually at night time that I feel the most emotional and like the most um, yeah. I would say connected because yeah. then I'm thinking about everything that I know I need to do I know I can change and I know it's a it's, it's a battle between me and my head, you know, and that's something I just need to get over that stepping point and just be able to just say I need to do this and then take the steps from there and inshallah Allah will guide me. What, what, is, what is your take on uh, listening to Quran and recitation? How I is love it? it. No, it's really, I find it very peaceful. I, I, I enjoy that a lot. Like it, in a way, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it. Like I'm listening, I'm not understanding, but I'm feeling it. Do you know what I'm feeling? Like you feel it and it's like, it goes through your whole body. Like you feel the vibration. It's like something that I don't understand, but it's making my body react like this. You can't, it, it becomes a thing yeah, that you Allah, can't really. You Allah, can't. Allah mentioned the Quran as a shifa, means cure. Allah mentioned in the Quran. And that is a cure for your heart. Allah said, you know, people will have fi qulubihim marad. People have disease in their heart and these disease cannot be um, I would say let me put it simply yeah let me give you an a, a simple example if you go to the chemist and you say you know I lie hundred times a day give me a tablet I need to stop lying they will laugh at you yeah. and if you say oh no okay give me an injection that I have a jealousy in my heart for someone else they would not be able to give you an injection so these medicine doesn't exist only it does yes but that medicine only found in the book of allah because this is a special medicine that you need yeah. then allah saying do not lie because lying is a sin and allah said be just do not uh, distort your testimony and i mean allah telling you all this avenue to make you sure that allah is telling i am watching you yeah so who is going to punish you so allah is going to punish you if you do so so by the fear of God, you should stay away from it. So look, Islam is a healing and a mercy and yeah. a shifa and a cure for the hearts. And if we now imagine yourself, if you can recite the Quran that way, yeah. you would in love with that because you'll be reciting in the kitchen, reciting wherever you go, and you'll be always connected with Allah. And Allah said in the Quran, Allah bi zikrillahi al means in the remembrance of Allah, your heart will really feel that. Uh, 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 peace and tranquility and serenity yeah. and and Allah said uh, you know th there's an amazing verse I, I found in the Quran where Allah said meaning Allah revealed the sakina this tranquility is not something we create yeah. is something come from God is something come from God so this serenity the tranquility something revealed to, 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 to your heart, you know, meaning Allah sent it. Because it's not like Allah sent oxygen. Allah also sent something we don't see, like love, mercy. These also are the gift of Allah. So we're not like a robotic machine. We have other aspects of Allah. We have love, cry, and emotion. All of the things was given by Allah. And then should we not be grateful then? So sister, I think... Uh, uh, you are in the right track since you have good friends and I, I wish you do you know him? Yeah, he goes to school with me as well and I'm oh. friends so yeah, yeah, we'll so discuss these things as soon yeah. as inshallah I will take my shahada very soon yeah. I think this was necessary for me to talk to somebody who has like you know knowledge as well like from a different perspective yes. because it's, it's gonna it's, it showed me that there isn't a lot of time and no, the longer it doesn't. I wait yes. the longer like you know, I know, I don't know what could happen tomorrow. I don't know what could happen on my way home today. And if I haven't taken that step, then I've missed out. You know, interesting that we're talking about time. We have a surah, we have a special surah in the Quran. It's only a very little surah, where Allah start with by making an oath. And do you know what the oath he make? He make the oath as a time, and the time of Asr, Wal Asr. You know this surah? The chapter goes Wal Asr. So Allah is making an oath by time. Wal Asr means time. So it could be mean broader time and it could be mean Asr time, which is a specific prayer time. But Allah is making an oath of the time. And then you know what the following verse is saying? It said, Innal insana la fi khusr. That the indeed mankind is in loss. Everyone is in loss. Then Allah make an exception. 
Allah says, illa ladina, illa, which is exception, illa ladina, illa la, illa ladina, those who are exception here in that case. Illa ladina aman wa amilus, Allah says, inna linksana, illa ladina aman wa amilus salihat, those who believe. So everyone is in loss, but the exception are those who believe. Wa amilus salihat means who do good deed. Watawasaw bil haq, who steadfast in the oneness of God and practice the religion means when the calamity comes you uh, stay sabar you don't complain to God and accept it this is the decree from Allah right and Allah said how to deal with these difficulties Allah said uh, uh, so whenever the difficulty happen you have to deal uh, you have to have the patience and the prayer together yeah so look at that not only we are thinking about the time, Allah is addressing time in His book so that we can reflect on the time because time is short. Yeah, it's anything that you could possibly go through in life, you're going to end up you're going to end up having a verse in the Quran, you know, a yeah. in the Quran that's going to be able to either explain to you yes. or try and guide you. Let me you give you this chapter, the chapter I mentioned to you. This is a very, very important chapter and this is one of the powerful chapter. Uh, is it Chapter 103, yeah? By the passage of time, that's what I mentioned, right? By time. So this is an oath. So whenever, this is, um, I don't want to go into detail. So it's called um, Qasam, meaning oath, oath by Allah is sometimes Allah making oath by His creation. Allah is oath, making oath by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah is oath, making an oath by time, right? So making, this is a stylist of the Quran. Inna insana. Surely humanity is in grave loss. Meaning that everyone is in loss. Except, except those who have faith. amanu, those who believe. And wa'amiru swalihat do righteous things. And urge each, uh, and watawasawbil uh, haq. And urge each other to perseverance. So look at the beautiful, very simple three line bang on meaning deep reflection of the meaning time time clock is running it's not stopping each moment we are heading closer to our death each moment we are losing the time so the time is precious Allah is addressing time is precious and we are realizing that time is precious yet we are not waking up from the the pretending the sleep that occurring within us and that's why Allah completely, if you look at the Quran itself, Allah keep urging you and keep urging the mankind to reflect. Afala ya'kilun. You notice those words. Allah said, Afala ya'kilun. Do you not think? Afala yashkurun. Do you not give thanks? Afala yatadabbarun. Do you not ponder? You always have to have Allah at the back of your mind. Exactly, no. Yeah, so whenever Allah giving any message, Allah is asking you to apply the, the gift, the tools that he given you, the thinking, uh, the pondering, and reflect upon the verse. Think about it, because these are the sign of God. Thank I, you so much. Anyway, I, 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 I wish you know our benefit may benefit you. May God bless you as well. Yeah. Thank you so much for this. Honestly, it's, it did make me open up my heart a little bit more today. Yes, you know, inshallah. It, it I ask God that God guide you to Islam, and sooner you you come to join. Two billion. I think he's in the process already. Inshallah. I think he's in the process already. Yeah. Thank you so much. Look after yourself, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, please make dua for her. She's in the process of becoming a Muslim. Um, she already has some Muslim friends already. So they are informing about Islam. But at the same time, something is holding her back. And uh, one of the things she's uh, facing drug issues as well. So. Uh, I ask Allah to aid her. We all have going through negative traits within our life and some of the habits that we grew within ourselves is detrimental. So as a Muslim, we also need to... She said it too good. Okay. Okay. So, inshallah, this will be blurred. Uh, yeah, yeah. But we need, to, we need to really think about our habit as well. As Ramadan is coming and going each year, did we leave our bad habits? That's a question to a Muslim as well. Just like she needs to, of course, she's working on this. 
we need to also work on our bad habits and we need to get closer to Allah. And this is the month of Ramadan, the best of the month, yes? And this is where uh, Allah revealed the Quran, eh? uh, guidance and shifa for Muslims and the believers and for everyone who ever accept this message. So I ask Allah that Allah guide her to Islam, Allah forgive our sins and please make dua, please make dua for brothers and sisters in Palestine. Jazakumullah khair, assalamu alaikum.